Hey everyone, Scott with Flip and Customize, and today we're talking projects, our projects, not other people's projects, not customers build, our stuff. The stuff that has honestly taken a back burner to everything that we've been doing for other people as well as building our new shop. So if you follow along and you know our channel, it's been a busy year. So because of that and building a new shop, which we're actually moving into this weekend, like as we speak, so we'll touch base on that um we've got to get back on our own builds and not our shop truck the shop truck is one cool truck actually there are going to be a few things we're going to do for that so we'll get to that but i want to start with something first that i find to be probably one of the coolest builds that i'm so excited to start and i'm afraid to start it because i have like five different projects started let me show you things first this is our 19 i believe 68 ford f600 this truck we scored over new hampshire uh last fall so we've had it a year now and it's been sitting here where we built our new shop this has no drivetrain in it i take that back there's a there is a transmission in it we got the engine with the truck but not in the truck and it was completely disassembled because he thought it was seized my neighbor messes with some f600s um we gave him the engine uh, and the reason why is what we're going to be putting in this truck. So, the patina on this truck, first of all, is phenomenal. We're going to preserve this patina with our friends over at Hoppy's Patina. So, we are definitely going to be keeping this look, like, authentic. It's going to have a rat rod theme because we definitely like the rat rod theme. I'm not sure what we're going to do with the wheels yet because of the bolt pattern um, and tubes and the whole deal. And we've been tossing around, do we keep this frame and adapt our modern stuff to it? Or do we just cab swap, we, like we scrap the whole thing essentially, except for the cab, and cab swap it onto this truck. So, this is our donor. This is our 1999 Dodge Ram, three quarter ton, two wheel drive, single wheel, Cummins. All right, we picked up this truck because it was in an accident as you can see someone started to fix it pretty bad over here it went off the road this was a daily driver before it went off the road the cab took some extensive damage the bed and then it got it changed hands a few times it only has around 160,000 miles which is nothing for these trucks it's an automatic transmission um the frame is mostly straight so we could in theory cab swap the f600 onto this one i've yet to do a cab swap and that's why i was more inclined to take the drivetrain out of this one and adapt it into that one which is a heavier frame altogether. uh i'm not really sure if uh, someone has a suggestion what you've done or what you're thinking you should do or we should do feel free drop a comment um the engine runs great now with that being said it's been sitting here over a year we tried to start it this summer, wasn't having it. So either the starter's gone, mice have been in this thing, as you can see. We've got some good, wow. We've got a pretty serious buildup of acorns, even though we have our mice repellent right here. So clearly that's working well. Um, I do have to cover the turbo up for winter because I should have done that by now. But it has no blow by and it runs fantastic. This is the one I'm most excited about getting back on or, or just starting because all we've done so far is just collect parts. So what do you guys think? Should we cab swap this thing or should we take the drivetrain out and put it under F600? I don't know. What do you think? All right. You ready for this one? This one is our prized possession. This is our minivan converted to mini truck. As you can see, we just Lamboed the doors and she's on her last mission. Um, which is on its way to the junkyard next week. So up to this point, this has been run over. Um, it's done a, a ridiculous amount of burnouts. Uh, that's, that's about it. it. It's been a lot of fun. And surprisingly enough, we've hauled firewood. We've done everything with this thing. And 
no, there was no point to this van. Now, mini truck, except to have fun with it, and that's what we did. Take out some frustration, then there's nothing wrong with that. But no, that's not a bill, so come on. All right, come on in, the new shop. We're still moving in, so bear with us. It's cold, to be polite. Too cheap to run the heat, but I'm not in here. All right, this is our latest project I just picked up, and uncertain if we're gonna keep it. Here's my thought. This is a 1993 regular cab, square body S10 pickup. Pretty hard to find up here in New England that are not either have either not been converted into little race trucks and destroyed or rotted out completely. You're gonna see some surface rust on this one, but that is it. Come on under the cab, look under here. Underneath, look at the inner rockers, the frame underneath this truck, original cat. It's got a hundred, it just cracked a hundred thousand miles. It is not rotted at all. Look at the front. I mean, it's, it's, it's got wear and tear. It spent its entire life up till three years ago in California. The owner drove it up here. He drove it for two years, started having some, it needed a few things mechanically. It's got a major exhaust leak on the header and then he parked it. So it sat off the road for the past year. Here's the thought with this truck. We don't have the time because of all the projects to completely redo the body and make the paint beautiful. Keeping the rat rod theme and the rough look, potentially another shop truck for us. I may enhance the rust, meaning add some to it by grinding down different areas to bare metal over the winter. Put it outside, let the rust bleed down a little bit onto the white and then clear coat this truck. We like to give it a three, four drop on a budget, so nothing crazy. Three inches in the front, four inches in the rear. This would be a driver, so we would drive this truck year round. So snow tires for the winter, and then nice set of wheels and tires for the summer. It's a four cylinder automatic transmission. Honestly, I'm gonna keep that because it would be a driver. So that's kind of my thought with this truck. Lower it down, cool exhaust, nice wheels, patina look. Um, I got a new balance for the front. We got all kinds of parts for it as far as like tune up stuff goes. Get it running good. Repaint the grill. Obviously we either got to fix or replace the bumper. That's a pretty good dent on it. Um, the inside's a little rough, but again, I've had like four people offer to buy it already and I've refused so far, but at some point I may just give in. I don't know because I can only drive or have so many vehicles. But that's this one in a nutshell. Not a crazy build, but I love these trucks. Love these trucks. So I'm really hesitant to get rid of them. All right, guys, this is a project we started probably five years ago now. This is another square body S10 regular cab short bed truck, the bed being over there. It's been sitting here now up off the ground and completely disassembled for at least three to four years. It's uh. Pretty clean, honestly. Those were the seats I was gonna leave in it, but instead we're going a different theme. So that center console and seat setup is probably gonna end up in that white truck in there, and this is gonna get race seats. Cause the reason why is we did a full frame build on this truck. I'll show you in a minute where the rest of it is. Cause we stopped working on this because business got busy. As you know, the business flipping customize, we're doing customizing, powder coating, metal art, whatever for customers. That's gotten busy. This took the back burner. Naturally, you gotta make money to pay for the projects. We need to get back on this one. This is an LS swap, like straight up fun, built the axle. It's gonna be awesome. We No, I'm not leaving the flames in the red. As though I've, although I've had several people, cause these were hand painted. Um, well, I say hand painted. They were painted on there, not a graphic. Um, and they were like, you can't get rid of that, it's authentic. I think I'm getting rid of it, and honestly, I like the muted gray, non-metallic color with some like uh, sponsors and whatever in black on the truck. I think it would look really cool. Um, let me show you the drivetrain to that truck inside. All right, on our way back into the other shop here, this was our project freight train. We named this one. Um, that, that was a fairly quick build, uh, Raptor Line. The full build is on our on our YouTube channel. So at this point, it's a great time to hit the like button and check out our other videos. Subscribe to the channel, it helps us out greatly. This is another Cummins truck, we drive this thing. This is our, essentially, one, another one of our shop trucks. I love this truck. This truck's going nowhere. It came out awesome. We did a fourth gen bumper swap on it. Like I said, bedlined it, lowered it down. Um, not real low, but kind of leveled the stance. Did a bunch of little things to her, underglow, all kinds of stuff.
good stuff, Cumbies. Anyway, we're in our other shop, also known as the garage, that we added on to uh, a couple of years ago because we outgrew the standard garage. We added another bay. Powder coating's gotten really busy, which is what we're doing today. We got a bunch of stuff uh, for our buddies over at Main Off-Road Enterprise. Um, we do a lot of powder coating for them guys. But, okay, back on the 91 S10. See, this is the other one that we actually did. Yeah, it's under here. Clearly, we stopped working on this thing a little while ago. Because, uh, you know, that's the way it goes. But, it was coming out pretty darn nice. It's very dirty, okay? Keep in mind, this is very dirty. We got a YouTube video on the rear end build of this truck. We've done several different uh, videos on this truck. The rear disc brake conversion. Completely built the uh, seven and a half inch rear end. It's got an Auburn Gate carrier in it. We upgraded the 28 spline axles. This is about as beefy as you can get a stock S10 housing, basically. So, will it hold up? I don't know. We haven't finished this truck. We'll know. I did a custom mount rear sway bar on this truck. It did not have a rear sway bar. It actually cut this out of like a 2002 Blazer and fabbed up the brackets and everything to fit inside of this truck. All new lines, like I said, this, this one was actually pretty far along. So, I don't even know why there's a carpet on here. There's a carpet on here. Ah, so, Here's the engine. We actually have the engine and transmission sitting in this, and it was far along, pretty far along, as you can see. The we did a show, a couple of shows of this summer, and we brought it as a rolling chassis um, for the business. Um, my buddy Steve did a phenomenal job wrapping those headers. I gotta say, um, and they suck. I'm just gonna tell you that to do. But there's no torque converter in here because of COVID. There was a big shortage, actually, yeah. There was a big shortage of torque converters, like weirdly enough, everything else. So that's gonna come back off when we get our stall converter in there. I think about a 2800 stall. This was a 5.3 uh, LS platform engine that we did a complete and total build on it. Uh, high performance pistons. There's also a video on this build of the engine on our channel. So again, great time. Hit the like button and subscribe. We appreciate it. This build here is the one that everybody up to this point wants us to just get on this thing and friggin' finish it. Yes, please finish and, this. Right, see? So it's, we're not far, but we're not close. <sighs> I don't know. But anyway, that's this one. In a nutshell, as you can see, we're clearly covering it back up. So, gone but not forgotten. This little gem right here is our uh, Facebook purchase indoor pocket rocket, they say. That supposedly needed a recoil, can't get one, welded a nut on it, just because we were going to run it back and forth between the two buildings, and now it has no spark. I honestly don't know how far we're going to take this thing. It could end up just being hung up in the new shop as wall art. So not really that much of a project. Although this one not mine, this is my son Evan's. Uh, 1990 Miata that he has um, done the full build on this car or at least most of it and most recently the engines back together it was running it was awesome he just did the bodywork the paint he's been having a lot of fun with it his first project vehicle and blew the rear end it's the last time he drove it so the rear end is gone like as in grenaded drive shaft moves car don't move so he's got a few things to do to that this winter but that was just that's kind of his project so he has some videos on this car as well, so stay tuned, you might see some more of that one. All right, this here is our, I wanna say world famous, at least TikTok famous shop truck. So this truck is not a build that we are like starting, but believe it or not, this truck is pretty much done. Uh, it's been done for a year or so. We've been running it around car shows. It's won a lot of awards. It's got a crazy rat rod theme going to it, especially under the hood. You want to see it there's a full build series on our channel under our it's either i think rat rod shop truck or shop truck but next year we're going to do a few things to it such as fix the clear coat something happened to it uh we're kind of talking through that one and figuring out what we're going to do for that um 
inside i do want to do either a floor mount shifter or like a rat rod cup holder thing going on with that at least for this year and this past year we put on this this vintage record boom on this truck which was cool because we always got stuck in the um uh special interest in car shows and that's like eh whatever put a big ass hook on it and did a it was cool we took it to car shows but we're not using it as a shop truck because this thing's in the back and honestly seriously considering out goes the wrecker boom and back to a flatbed so we can actually start using this truck haul our projects around and everything so that's where this truck's at just a few things coming for next year but this truck is fun so we're not done with this truck All right, so that brings us basically to the close of this video. And it's something different. We kind of kind of vlog styled it. We just wanted to talk through some projects and kind of get you guys to catch some interest in our own personal projects, not just stuff that we're doing for other people, not just straight up, oh, that's a funny, stupid video, whatever, or how-to video. These are some legit projects of our own that we're working on. It's just hard to get that balance and get things done when you got to do customer stuff as well to pay the bills. It is what it is. But thank you guys very much for watching. We appreciate each and every one of you. If you give us a like and a subscribe, very much appreciated. Thanks, guys.